Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today we're answering another question from one of our members who wanted to know how to attach a cord or cable to an object in Cinema 4D. You can get your C4D questions answered as well by becoming a CG Shortcuts member over at cgshortcuts.com or on Patreon. Now let's hop into Cinema 4D and see what we can do. So I've got a very simple scene here with a microphone moving back and forth as it comes closer to the camera. And to give it that springy motion, I've added a track modifier set to spring mode to the keyframed animation. And I've also got a bit of a delay at the start of the animation before it starts moving. So when we add our dynamic cable, it's got a second or two to drop down and settle into place. So to make our cable, we just need a spline and I've already drawn a very basic spline from the base of the microphone off to the side here. It's super low res just to get the overall shape at first. And I've just drawn that with the spline pen tool. The only really important thing is that the end of this is very close to the point of the object you want to attach it to. Then for the cable thickness, I've got a cylinder here, which I've scaled and stretched out a bit. And it's nice and low in rotation segments, so it'll sim nice and fast, but we've got plenty of subdivision going along the length to help the cable deform when it's simulated. So I need this to conform to the shape of the spline we've drawn, which we can do with a spline wrap deformer. And now to make this look a bit better, we can smooth out our spline shape. So we'll grab that and I like to set the type to B spline and the intermediate points to uniform. So it's nice and smooth. And we can also adjust the shape with the B spline handles if we need to. Then to make the cable dynamic, I've got a cloth tag on here, which I've tweaked a bit to help keep its shape by enabling the soft body mode with a slightly higher spread value to stop the shape from collapsing. Then I've got a collider tag on the floor, so the cable will interact with that. And we're about ready to simulate this. But if we hit play, the cable just falls straight down because we haven't attached it yet. So to make it stick to the mesh at the base of the microphone, we're going to use a dynamic connector, which will apply to the cylinder cable. But this tag only interacts with dynamic objects, so anything we want to stick to this also needs a cloth or rigid body tag. So we want to attach it to the mic base object. So let's give that a cloth tag as well. And obviously if we play this now, that base of the mic is treated as cloth and it just folds up and collapses onto the floor as well. So we'll need a way to keep it solid and follow along with the animation while still having a cloth tag. And we can actually do that easy enough over in the mix animation tab. If we enable with pins at 100% influence, the cable will still fall down because we haven't attached it yet, but the microphone base will follow along with the animation and keep its original shape. So now that they both have cloth tags applied, we can connect them. So back to our connector, let's make this live so we can see the connections. And all we need to do is play around with the search radius until we can see our yellow connection lines. And if I zoom in a tad, you can see that that's connecting the vertices from our cable to our microphone based on the search radius. So I think this should be good to go now. And that's now following along nicely. And if you wanted the cable to slide around a bit more like it was made from smooth plastic or something, we can just decrease the friction amount on the floor collider and in the cable cloth tag as well. And that's probably looking a bit more realistic. So that's the microphone. Let's take a quick look at another slightly more complex setup. Say you wanted to attach a more elaborate cable like this old school phone cord which I've just made with a helix spline with another spline wrap, which is quite cool because I can easily add more or less coils if I need to. But you can attach this in the exact same way. If I hide this, I've also got a straight version of the cord, which I've made out of a cylinder along the spline like we did before. And I've set the cloth tag and connector up exactly the same way as well by connecting it to the handle and base of the phone, which looks like this. So to replace this with our twisted cable, let's bake our low res cord as an alembic file. So the dynamics are baked into a new object and we can now disable the dynamics and hide this setup. And we can use this baked animation to drive the twisted cable. 
So we'll turn that whole setup into a static mesh by doing a connect object plus delete. And to that, we can add a mesh deformer, which can transfer the deformation of one object to another. So I'll drag the Alembic animation into here, make the accuracy nice and high, and set this to surface area mode and initialize. And now if we hide our Alembic, that's now driving the animation of the twisted cable. So that is how you can attach cords or cables to objects using dynamics. You can grab the render ready project files for this from our website at the link below. And if you found this video useful, feel free to leave a like or a comment down there as well. And if you need a bit of extra help with Cinema 4D, please do get in touch or become a CG Shortcuts member, which gives you access to all of our premium C4D training and resources so you can master Cinema 4D faster. Just head over to cgshortcuts.com. So that's it for now. I'll catch you next time.